All righty. So there is some pretty breaking news today. Um, it is pretty confirmed now that Extreme Skyflyer is going. Um, so as of today, Wonderland started removing all the key parts to Extreme Skyflyer. Um, so that was really cool to catch. Uh, you should see a crane at some point this week or next week arrive and actually start removing the structure. Um, Wonderland was getting ready, obviously, for that process. So again, this is really exciting news. I know it's kind of sad, but it's like exciting um, because it means that obviously something will eventually replace it. Um, not sure that there are any plans yet, but it is a little weird that Wonderland's removing it a whole one year early. So Extreme Sky Flyer was due to expire um, from Sky Coaster, I believe at the end of next season, October 2024. So um, again, it is a whole year early, so it is interesting. But nonetheless, over at my buster, a lot of work was going on. So a lot of carpentry and woodwork going on. Um, getting those cross beams on my buster, and then we'll start seeing the the track go on. So that's really exciting. Um, again, it's so funny. One day there'll be zero work going on, and then the next day you fly, which you'll see in a second, and suddenly a lot of work is done. So my buster is one of those. But if you look at front gate, front gate is progressing extremely quickly. Um, so here you can see them removing. I'm not quite sure what that component's called, but essentially it's like a, it guides like the wires up and down. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I was told the part's name and then I completely forgot, obviously when it came down to recording, but they removed those, the key wires are still up there. Cables, sorry. Um, those will be coming down and the fences will obviously be removed. Um, but yeah, a lot more has been removed, uh, today on extreme sky flyer than just that. So if you look closely, you can see, um, it doesn't look like a lot, but, uh, if you know the ride, a lot has been removed from it. Um, over at front gate, you can see what I believe is timber kits, um, getting installed. Um, a really nice amber red uh, stained wood. I I, to be honest, I, I, I really love it. It looks amazing. Um, so I'm really excited to see what they do. Um, and they were cutting out a weird line. You'll see right over there. There's a line where we would normally enter from our cars. They cut that out. So I'm really interested to see what they build. It's almost like they're going to build a wall there um, for an exit or something. So again, it wouldn't make sense to build all these queue lines for security posts if you can still enter from the left and the right side of the front gate. So I do have a feeling that we'll be entering from way back um, and then coming through Leviathan's Hammerhead towards front gate. So it'll be you can see it clearer there. It'll be interesting to see what they do with that. Um, outside of that, not much else going on. They're still taking apart the ice rink and no visible signs of them touching the other parts of front gate yet. But as you can see here, Wonderland's maintenance team hard at work, um, removing components of extreme sky flyer. And I'm trying to see if there's anything else I can talk about, or if I'm going to cut it off here and just play some music for you guys to watch a bit more of the construction update. Um, you will see Vikings rage. I believe you should see it in this clip. Um, it's like a complete skeleton and it's stuck up at an angle while they work on the tires and the motors of the ride. So that's really cool. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it that I have to talk about now. Um, I will be flying daily, um, to keep you guys updated. So to the best of my ability, I fly daily unless weather gets in the way. Um, again, my drone's worst enemy is actually fog. Um, so there was a day that I flew during, um, fog and it was funny. I actually thought it would be fine. When I landed my drone, it looked like a wet bird. Um, so even though my drone could see because I flew below the fog line, the air was so full of moisture. When I landed, I was in pure panic, drying her and patting her dry slowly um, and warming her up because she was literally a soak bird. So I'm glad she survived that. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to talk about in today's update. Again, stay tuned. Follow us on Patreon. Patreon's got to see some HD photos of some of these um, components that are going on around the park, and they will get information first. Um, thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.